Should we use LiveRay for document management? Well, it depends. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. In this and the next two videos, I'll talk about ways of handling documents in a LiveRay based architecture. First, we present LiveRay's own documents and media functionality. In a second video, we compare this to the functionality of Alfresco's document management. And finally, we show how to integrate the two using CMIS, Content Management Interoperability Services. So let's start with LiveRay. When we automate business processes, documents almost always play an important role. In a previous video on the ingredients of a successful digital transformation of business processes, we have introduced a document management system as one of the core components. In another video, we have shown how the business process management system, YAL, can be embedded into LiveRay. I've put links to these videos in the description below. Now I'll show you how LiveRay's own documents and media functionality can be used to deal with a small set of five example documents. You can find these documents in the companion page to this video. Let's go to the computer. So I have my LiveRay system open here. I'm logged in as the administrator. And the first thing I want to do is to upload the sample documents. So I go to Content and Data, Documents and Media. And I have already a folder here called Test Documents. And in there, if I press the plus sign, I have something called Multiple Files Upload. And from here, I just simply can drag and drop the documents in here. And now everything is in there and I publish the documents. So now if I go to the home page, I have a section here called Documents and I can now search for different things and I will start by searching for different ways to create. This is something that occurs in one of the documents. And the result I get is I get five hits here and this is definitely not what I want. So what I have to do here is I have to put quotes around this and then I get metadata for archivists. This is the document I was expecting to see. Okay, the first thing. This was a full text search, so now let's see if we can find things in the metadata. So I'll take the creator of one of the documents, Leonard Rosenthal, and I get one hit and this is exactly what I was expecting. So now let's see how the things are displayed. Um, first, let's look at documents and media. And let's have a look at the photo that is uploaded here. So the photograph is here, there's a preview of the photo and if you press info here you get on the right hand side metadata.
you get the GPS position and everything. The second example is a PowerPoint file. This is called Metadata for Archivists. It's here. And for the PowerPoint file, there is no preview available. And again, if I press Info, I get the metadata on the right hand side. The next video will show the same for Alfresco. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it.